Okay. Uh, we just had just a brief um, yeah, you know, technical someone, difficulty. Yeah, apologize there. for that. Someone okay. called and it kicked the live stream off. Uh, okay. So, uh, well, yeah, it's going to be just a moment. We're on a live mm -hmm. broadcast right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, um, so the, the Bible says here in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, beginning with verse 29, he said, are we all apostles? Yes or no? No, we're yeah. not all apostles. Mm -hmm. Okay, but then the, 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 the gifting of the, the office of the apostle, does it exist? Yes, it does. Yes. He said, are we all prophets? Hmm. You know, no, we're not all prophets. But then there are prophets, you know, that, that, that's in the body of Christ. Are we all teachers? No, we're hmm. not all teachers. We don't all walk in the office of teachers or pastors or whatever. You know, and then it goes on to say here, uh, are we all workers of miracles? Hmm. No, we don't all work miracles. No, miracles do not manifest, you know, through everybody. Hmm. You see? But it, 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 miracles are manifest through, through some, the gift of miracles. Yes. Yes, and that's a legitimate gifting in the body of Christ. You said, you said, having all the gifts of healing, hmm. have we all the gifts of healing? Do we all speak with, with, with tongues? Hmm. No. Do we all interpret tongues? No. no. But all those things are relevant and all those things are important to the functioning, you know, of the body of Christ and mm -hmm. the local assembly. But we all don't function in all of it. But, but some of us do, you know, one or the other. But then look what he said in verse 31. This is what I like. And this right here just bring it into perspective what somebody put on the screen there. Mm -hmm. He said, but covered, you know, earnestly desire the best gifts, mm -hmm. but yet I show you a more excellent way. And then from there, it went on to the verse, first Corinthians chapter 13 to talk about the fruit of the spirit. Yes. And look what he says here. He said, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, mm -hmm. I got this very spiritual gift, you know, where I can speak in the heavenly language. Yes. You know, I have great oratory and eloquent skills. Hmm. You know, but if I have not loved, guess what? I'm a zero. I'm nothing. <laughs> you know, he said that if I, you know, and then it goes on to say there, you know, if I have the gift of prophecy hmm. and I could prophesy, right? And I understand all mysteries and, and all knowledge and, you know, and the gift of faith and I could move mountains and have not love, then I am nothing. Even if I give, I become a giver and I give everything to mm -hmm. the poor. But if I have not love, then I'm nothing. So he's pointing back to the gifting in chapter 11. But he said, without love, and it's not rooted in love, the prophecy ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. If you're rooted in love, your apostolic, you know, flamboyance ain't nothing. Amen. You know, if it's not rooted in love and see, you know, and, and your, your teaching and everything ain't nothing. You see, you see what I'm saying? You know, so that is the fruit of the spirit. Every fruit of the spirit operate out of love, you know. So that's what, you know, you have to look at, you know. Is it round, rooted and grounded in love? Thank you. Uh, um, uh, thank you there for putting that there on the screen. Amen. Amen. All right. Absolutely. So I don't know how much time we have here. Yeah, I think I think we are. Uh... Yeah, we're about out of time. Yeah, we we got about five minutes. Oh now. wow, wow, we have. So I know, amen, amen. Wow, we wow, will. it's exciting, yes. yeah. Amen. Yes, okay, and this is the five minutes but that we just covered, you know, the, 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 the apostle, the apostolic, you know, office. And I think probably next week we'll to do us some justice, you know, we'll cover the uh, uh, apostles and the, uh, we'll cover the apostles and the teacher, amen. you know, next week, amen. You know, we may <laughs> probably just go into the fivefold ministry. Amen. You know, gifts, amen. But what we want to do, we're just saying this here today, you know, to say that we have to be, you know, very uh, careful so that we would not be uh, deceived, okay? Mm -hmm. Because there are many deceivers out there. There's many deceivers yeah. in the world, you know, today. And, 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 and they're to deceive the people of God, mm -hmm. you know. But they're also, God have put men and women in the body, you know, that operate in the gifting of prophecy, mm -hmm. operate in the prophetic, you know, walk in the of prophets, of prophets, mm -hmm. but we have to measure, you know, have to discern it, you know, and try the spirit, you know, mm -hmm. whether do they have the message that is rooted, you know, in Christ, you know, their motive is to edify the body of Christ and to, uh, and, you know, and to lift up Jesus at the end and to glorify God, you know, uh, the fruit of the spirit, you know, rooted and grounded uh, there in in love, Amen. you know, so those are the things that we definitely want to look at, you know, and so next week we will address the uh, apost apostles, mm -hmm. you know, as well as, you know, teachers, and we may touch on the past and the evangelist, you know, there as well, okay, mm -hmm. because the enemy would like to use those that are in leadership, mm -hmm. 
you know, to deceive them so that they can deceive many. But I thank God that there are men and women of God, yes. you know, that are on the wall, Amen. you know, that are standing Sunday after Sunday, leading and ministering, you know, to the people of God. And if yes. you have a man and a woman of God that are living the Bible and, and preaching the Bible, you know, you know, and walking in the spirit, mm -hmm. you know, then pray for your man of God and woman of God and hold them up. Yeah. You know, hold up their, their arms as you carry out the work of the ministry uh, there together. So be not deceived. Amen. Right? God is not mocked whatsoever man so that shall he also reap. Amen. Amen. That This has been a wonderful uh, word on tonight. And uh, there were so many things that um, really, really uh, resonated with me and, and stuck out in my mind. But one thing that I just had to go back to, and that is that, we can't focus on just the manifestation, but we got to focus on the manner, the Man, word, right. the word, the yeah. word, the word, the word. That is what we got to focus on. That is what that is what keeps us straight. That mm -hmm. is what keeps us guarded mm -hmm. is the word is the word of God. And that mm -hmm. is what keeps us from becoming deceived. Mm. is the word of God. And so that's why we've got to keep that word in our heart that we might not sin against God. And I hope that you were blessed tonight mm. as much as I was blessed. Oh my goodness, my heart is so full. And I mean, the um, we didn't even touch the surface of, of, of all that the Lord has given us as far as this subject is concerned. And so we're going to continue this here in the coming weeks. But before we end this broadcast, we want to just take uh, just a moment to just pray and, and seal this word uh, before the Lord. Amen. Amen. And even in these last days, you know, for those of you that may not know the Lord Jesus Christ that is on this broadcast, you know, the way to come to the light mm. is simply to just believe that the Lord Jesus Christ have died on the cross there for your sins, you know, and wanting to come into your heart and into your life. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 3, uh, 20, he said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I'll come into him and sup with him and he with me. Meaning that he will come in, you know, and to light up your life and to light up your world to where you would never walk in darkness again, but you would have the light of life. You know, not only just illumination, mm. amen, you know, but you would have the light of life. And so I pray for, I also want to pray for, you know, those of you who are believers, amen, to walk in the light, the truth of God's word. Say, God, give me a deeper desire, yes. you know, to study your word. Holy Spirit, enlighten me. Amen. Teach me the word of God, the truth of your word. Yes. So when I see deception, mm. you know, I'll be able to recognize it amen. and to be able to know what to do. Help me to walk in truth. Help me to follow you because you are truth. You are the truth, the way and the life. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly and Eternal Father, we thank you, Lord, for this this broadcast, Lord God, that was uh, that was aired here on tonight, dear God. I know that you're using it to speak to the heart yes. of your people, dear God. We seek not to exalt ourselves, but to lift you up, O oh God, and to shine the light, you know, of your word into our situation, dear God, that we be, be, be able, Lord God, to be able to properly discern yes. That which is truth, that which is error, that which is of you, and that which is of the satanic origin, oh God. And so, Heavenly Father, we pray, oh God, that you would give us each discerning hearts, dear God, Lord. Lord, that when you are speaking, dear God, we know, dear God, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that it is you, our spirit, bear witness, Lord, that you are, Lord, speaking, you are at work, you are manifesting yourself in our very midst, oh God. And so, Heavenly Father, Lord God, bring us to that place where we'll be sensitive, Lord, to the Holy Spirit, dear God. Lord, Heavenly Father, also I pray for those, O oh God, that do not know you, that may be listening in, O oh God, that they hear this word, dear yes. God. Heavenly Father, if they don't know you, they're already under deception, but God, may they come to the light. Lord, for you are the light, dear God. Yes. Lord God, and you will give light, mm. you know, unto them to where they can see their way. Lord God, to that eternal life, mm -hmm. Lord, that you have made available by your sacrificial death on Calvary. We love you and we thank you for everyone that have connected, dear God. May we all be blessed, yes. O oh God, Hallelujah. and walk in the way because yes. you are the way, the truth, and the life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you for coming on, on tonight. And um, I would like to invite you all to join us uh, here uh, on Thursday. Thursday is the National Day of Prayer.
Prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you who are not aware, it's a National Day of Prayer, and uh, we are all going to be gathered out on the uh, Capitol yes, lawn. Yes, Is on the correct? West Lawn of West the nation's lawn. capital. Amen. Uh, there on this coming uh, Thursday, May 5th, amen, observing the National Day uh, of Prayer. Amen. Myself, uh, we will be, you know, there on program. Uh, uh, Denise will be ministering in song, and then a host of believers from diverse background representing the body of Christ all going to come together yes. to pray for our nation. Amen. amen. And worship together. Amen. And so we want to invite you and you invite all those, you know, that you know to come. Amen. Amen. It's going to start at two o'clock. It's going to start at two o'clock. Okay. The main uh, gathering is going to be at four o'clock. Amen. On yes. the West Lawn of the nation capital. Amen. amen. We, want, we want to just show up. Amen. You know, and to lift up Jesus Christ. Amen. And to lift up that light, that the light will shine over our nation and dispel the darkness. Amen. You know, and make a pathway for Jesus Christ to visit us. We want you to be a part, you know, of this great gathering. Amen. 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 God bless you. And thank you for joining us on this edition of Revelation Nation, where we are bringing revelation to your nation by helping you to understand the times in which we live. God bless you and good God night. God bless you. We love you. Good night.